this is one of the last plastic chairs uh, uh, developed by Charles and, and Ray Eames, and we see that uh, in this, in 1972, something that they were always working towards, which was a uniform, consistent uh, finish. Uh, people, uh, collectors like to look at the early um, Eames molded plastic chairs and they get excited about the fibers. Charles and Ray weren't looking to make a chair with fibers in it, they were looking to make a good consumer product. And as soon as they could, which meant 1972, when they were using plastic, they went to a plastic that had a uniform, consistent finish. Uh, something else that we saw in early Eames designs was uh, shock mounts. Well, when they could, by 1972, they came up with a way that the plastic uh, shell had the shock mounts and their function in integrally molded into the uh, shell. And this chair anticipates what happened in 2006 when uh, licensed Eames uh, manufacturers, Herman Miller and Vitra, started making the Eames uh, uh, molded plastic chairs again, and the ones that are current production and our authentic Eames designs have a uniform, consistent finish, and the shock mount is uh, integrally uh, part of the, uh, the plastic mold. Speaking of rarity, we don't have many of these around today because this uh, design, while it did mark a, a breakthrough for Charles and, and, and Ray Eames, um, it was not a chair that was produced for very long. Uh, people found that they were still uh, um, happy and, uh, and this went on for another 15 years with the original molded plastic Eames uh, uh, chair.